Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are underway and doing recorded video for the trip. I think, uh, good morning, Blackbird. Good morning. Uh, Blackbird's going to be doing a lot of uh, live stream stuff, so we're happy to have you guys along. As you saw on the uh, morning video I did, we didn't know that the, uh, neither the, uh, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> neither the ferry nor the Golden Gate, uh, not excuse me, neither the Smart Train nor the Golden Gate Transit runs on Sunday. So that left us a little bit of a problem of what to do. So what we decided to do was just load up the, uh, luckily I got the van, Hubbard. Yes. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness. So two bikes fit pretty comfortably. I mean, nothing got busted up back there. Yes. Uh, so what we're going to do, oh. it, what did, did you forget something? My golf club, but it's okay. Fuck, we've got to hit some golf balls <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> then we go back and get it. Yeah, I'll tell you, if we find a place, I'll, I'll rent your club. Yeah, but, uh, well, you no, because I want to hit them in the ocean. Okay, well, like, all right. If we could we get go. some golf balls. All right, so we got to go get, uh, we got to go get little Bertha here. Anyway, yes. what we decided to do... Outlaw was, driving range. Yeah, what we decided to do was go down and just take the van down because parking across the street from the hotel is only $30 and that's going to be pretty cheap compared to all the fares for ferries and trains. So it, it works out okay. You know, it's, we would have loved to have done that, but there's always next time. So, um, yes, that's a thing to do for go down, take off work on a Friday, go down Thursday, and then you just screw off Thursday night. Or That's right, the weekend begins on Friday, Thursday, right? You know, or go down Friday, then Saturday, you can come back, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, Alright, we're glad to have you guys along. So I think here. the whole point is, Sunday, you get stuck, right? So you yeah. stay a day extra, and you yeah. don't leave till Monday. Very simple. <laughs> That's it. Except for San Francisco <laughs> uh, hotels. Alright, guys, mm. good to have you along. First, we had to make a pot stop for bird, right? <laughs> it's, um, there's so many around town. Well, recreational weed is legal. And we're at the spark here. And the funny thing about places I've noticed, well, you need to show your ID. They need to scan your ID when you go in. But I've noticed that there's like a million people working there. And they're all very hey, welcome in, but they're all very nice and everything. I mean, the profit margin on that stuff must be phenomenal, right? To have that kind of, uh, to be running that kind of overhead, but people were pulling in left and right. So, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Here comes the bird. All right, man. The bird is landed, huh? Yeah. Mission accomplished. I gotta get some new panties. Look at that thing. That spark is so. Um, there's so many people working in there. It's beyond belief. It's a know? Sonoma County pot. Yeah. All right. Sonoma. And it's whatever. Pot. It's outdoor. Like I wanted. I was hoping to get some of it. Who cares? Drive test. Thanks, guys. We're on our way. Bird's excited. We've got a new jar. Look at it. It's so big that it's like you need to fill it up. Yeah, they use, uh, they, they, use, they use big jars, right? It makes you think like you got a lot. All right, we're out of here. We're on our way.
Some people will use a symbolism of the relationship of God to the universe. God is a brilliant light, only somehow veiled, hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around. So far, so good. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now. That the experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. In other words, when you really start to see things, and you go into the nature of what it is to see, what vision is, or what smell is, or what touch is, you realize that that vision is the brilliant light of the cosmos. architectural outcroppings here. This is the, I guess you don't realize how much this stuff sits on stone or bedrock, but these places must have amazing views. Just quintessential San Francisco houses. Beautiful the way they have these. I don't know what they're, they look like camellias, but they're not. Maybe they are. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if this is a garden over here. Oh, yeah, this is all behind this house here. Look at this. Wow. Oh, so this is a public park. Welcome Beautiful. to Faye Park. Yeah. I can drink my beer right over yeah. here. You want right? Are you drinking my beer? No one bother me. Yeah. It's pretty. Sure is. <laughs> so 
thinks this would be a good place for his new office here. <laughs> it's really nice that they have this uh, park here. Beautiful. Hope you're enjoying. I'm enjoying walking around. I don't usually spend a lot of time. I've usually hopped out before and I've checked out uh, Lombard Street. Everybody gets that view of the crazy snaking road coming down, but there's so much cool architecture to explore here in San Francisco and the hills are so steep. Lots and lots to see. I'm kind of making my way forward here where Alcatraz is, but every time I come around a corner, the views are spectacular. You gonna buy it? You gonna buy it? What? Are you going to buy it? Well, that you can. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> 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 Woo! There's Bird up in his office. <laughs> You're in your office. Huh? You're in your office. 
with the flags are waving. <laughs> Can't beat the views. So I'm gonna suggest we um, check into the uh, hotel. Maybe able to get in there and then we can get our bikes out and get on our way. Cause I think it's gonna be easier to work around the waterfront as opposed to having to worry about parking and all that, so. Love it. Every time I come down here, this is phenomenal. But this is some of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, property in America here just because the city is so gorgeous in almost every direction that you look. There's something really cool to see a lot of beauty here. <laughs> 